guys, I'm in the car going to Salzburg, which is awesome because in the next few days I hopefully am gonna be able to make some good shots in Salzburg and show you this beautiful city, some sightseeing in Austria, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. break done I had to drink some coffee because uh, because I got very tired uh, why am I going to Salzburg actually because I'm going to work there for those of you who are new to the vlog I'm working for the Museum of Economics in Vienna in the fifth district of Vienna is the Museum of Economics and it's an interesting institution because it was founded by Otto Neurath some of you might have heard the name Otto Neurath. Otto Neurath was a quite uh, interesting and smart guy because the Museum of Economics was founded in 1925. So in the 1920s, Otto Neurath had the idea to found a museum for special topics for economics and social affairs. Because as you can imagine, after World War I, Austria was no longer a monarchy. Austria was a really small country suddenly. Austria was a country where many said, hey, this small country doesn't have a future. And Austria was suddenly a democracy. So that was a quite new situation. And Otto Neurath came with this humanistic approach and said, okay, first of all, in a democracy, people can vote, so people have to know certain things about the economy. So that was his idea why he founded this institution for educating the people. So a cool approach, a cool idea and a humanistic approach. And the special thing about Otto Neurath was not only this approach but also the method was interesting because he knew okay many people cannot read very well I mean nowadays we don't have this problem so much not anymore but still some people cannot read very well and back then he thought okay how can I use different forms how can I show economic theories and economic concepts in not like text style but in pictures so he invented sort of a language in pictures that you can see very quickly uh, yeah some economic like connections so the method was new the knowledge wasn't quite Maybe it was also new, but the knowledge was there. The method to, to get the message to the people, this was new. And so he built up some signs, some billboards, not billboards, like boards in the city with uh, those little pictures which described economic theories. Cool idea. And until now, we are going to schools and doing basically the same thing. Talking about economic concepts, building up some boards and explaining things. I mean, nowadays, obviously, times have changed and the museum has changed. The circumstances have changed. But what I like about working there is still actually this humanistic approach that you want to educate people and give them the right spirit so they 
can educate themselves and they become good citizens of this country or of this world nowadays. So that's the first approach I really still like about the museum. Uh, the second one is also the approach that somebody new comes into the school and also with this uh, billboards. So still with the same method that Otto Neurath basically developed back then. But I mean, of course, the museum has to change because what was new back then was the method. And I think this would be the next step for the Museum of Economics to take the next step and to experiment and make use of new technologies or at least other, yeah, other forms of educating people. That was always something which was new about the museum and this is something which I would see for the future of the Museum of Economics to get up to date, to make use of new methods, try out some new methods, bring those me methods which can be very useful for transmitting new ideas, for getting new thoughts out, for getting these humanistic thoughts out. I think for this the museum should really try to apply other methods and newer methods. These are only my two cents about where the museum should actually head. All right, one hour to go and Ivo is calling. Hallo Ivo. Hallo und wo bist du? Ähm, circa eine Stunde vor Salzburg. So my friends, welcome to Salzburg. Good thing is I could crush into a friend's place and have my own room here. Tomorrow we can go together and explore Salzburg a little bit, yeah.